After many requests, it is finally the time for Spider-Man. So for all the items that you will need to make this guy, check the description box out below. And for a link to the written pattern, also check the description box. And other than that, get your crochet hooks at the ready and let's get going. So we're going to begin with our red DK yarn and my 3.5mm hook. I'm going to do a slip knot onto hook. Now I'm going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then zoom you in a bit. Now into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do one single crochet. Now I'm going to do a single crochet in each of the next three chains. One, two and three. And into the last chain of this round I'm going to do three single crochets all into that chain space. One, two and three. Now rotating my work, so I'm going to be working down the opposite side of the foundation chain. I'm going to do three single crochets. So three single crochets into the other half of the chain stitches that we made. So one, two and three. And into the last stitch of this round, which is the first stitch of the round before, I'm going to do two single crochets. So one and two. So we now have 12 stitches. For our next row we want to increase to 18 stitches. So into the first stitch I'm going to do two single crochets. One and two. And now I'm going to single crochet into the next three stitches. two and three. Now into the next three stitches I'm going to do two single crochets into each stitch. So two single crochets into the next three stitches. So one and two into the first stitch, one and two into the second stitch, one and two into the third stitch. Now I'm going to single crochet three. One two and three and into the last two stitches of this round I'm going to do two single crochets into each stitch. So one and two into the first stitch, one and two into the second stitch. So we now have 18 single crochets. For the next round I'm going to single crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. So I'm going to go through the back loop of each stitch, not both of them, just the back loop. So I'm going to do 18 single crochets around in the back loop only. There you go. And after our round of back loop only single crochets, I'm now just going to do two rounds of single crochet normally. So I'm going to continue going through both loops of the stitch as we normally would, and I'm going to single crochet around twice. For our next round, we want to begin to do some decreases. So we currently have 18 stitches, and on the next round, we're going to decrease to 14. So to do that, I'm going to single crochet into the first five stitches. One, two, three, four and five and now I'm going to single crochet two stitches together four times and to do this I'm going to take my hook and go under the front loop only of the first stitch and then go straight under the front loop only of the second stitch so there are three loops on my hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two loops so there are two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So that's how I'm going to do all my my decreases on my single crochet two stitches together so I've done one and I need to do another three so that was one decrease together 
two decreases, three decreases, and our last one, four. Now to finish this round, I'm going to single crochet five. One, two, three, four, and five. For our next row, I want to decrease from these 14 stitches to 12. To do that, I'm going to single crochet into 5 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I'm going to single crochet 2 stitches together twice. So single crochet 2 together once. And single crochet 2 together twice. And now finish with a single crochet five. One, two, three, four and five. So we now have 12 stitches and we're going to single crochet around these 12 stitches for eight rows. So eight rounds of single crochet and I will meet you back here when I'm done. And at the end of your eighth round, we're going to fasten off with our red yarn. So I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and then chain one. I can cut my yarn and you always want to make sure that when you are finishing with the yarn colour, you take it to the back of your work because you don't want the colour change to appear at the front. So I did a couple of extra stitches to make sure that the fasten off of the red was at the very, very back of the boot. Now I'm going to bring in my blue DK yarn. And to attach this, I'm going to do a slip knot onto my hook. And in the back of my work, I'm going to insert my hook into any of the stitches, yarn over and pull up a loop so I have two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. So I have attached my new colour whilst doing my first single crochet. And now I'm going to do 10 rounds of blue. So 10 rounds of single crochet with blue. So I'm just coming to the end of my 10th row and if this is the first leg that you're making you want to fasten off because we don't need that leg to be attached to our yarn but if it's the second leg that you've made keep this one attached to the yarn because we'll use this yarn to join the two legs. So for the time being I'm going to pull up a loop because this is the time where I'm going to stuff the leg. So now it's time to join both of these legs and I'm going to join the legs so that they are like this. So I need to take my working yarn currently which is on the right leg, I'll call this one the right leg and this one the left and I want to do a couple of extra stitches to take my working yarn to the left hand side of the right leg. So I'm going to do about two stitches, one, two and another one, three. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch. So we should be in the centermost stitch of the left hand side. Now I'm going to loosely chain one. And then I can pick up the first leg that I made and I'm going to slip stitch into any of the stitches on the right hand side of the leg. And that chain one has joined both of the legs. So now on this second leg, the left leg, we've slip stitched into one of the stitches which leaves a remainder of 11 stitches on this leg. So I'm going to single crochet around the 11 stitches on this leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And now I've come to the chain one space between the legs, and I'm going to single crochet into one half of that chain space. Now onto the next leg. We slip stitched out of one of the stitches, and we're not going to count that stitch anymore, which leaves a remainder of eleven stitches around this leg. So I'm going to continue to single crochet around the 11 stitches on the next leg. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then we're back at the chain one space, but the opposite side, and I'm going to single crochet into the opposite side of that chain space. There we go. So we now have 24 stitches because we have 11 stitches on each leg, 11 and 22. And then we have a chain one space and we single crochet into both sides of that chain one space, which gives us two stitches. So 11 plus 11 is 22, plus the two stitches in the middle is 24. And now I'm gonna single crochet around these 24 stitches for five rows. So five rounds of single crochet. After the five rounds of single crochet, we now want to decrease to 20 stitches. So we've currently got 24, and in order to decrease to 20, we're going to single crochet into four stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together, and we're gonna do that five times. So we're gonna single crochet for one, two, three, and four, and now we're gonna decrease for five. Single crochet, six, seven, eight, and nine. Decrease for 10. Single crochet, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Decrease for 15. And then single crochet, 16, 17, 18, 19 and decrease for 20. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join and I'm going to fasten off with this blue colour. And next I'm going to bring back the red yarn. <coughs> Excuse me. And next I'm going to bring back the red yarn. I'm going to join it the same way I did before. So I'm going to do a slip, slip knot onto hook insert hook into stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop so there are two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through both of these loops. And now I'm going to do two rounds of single crochet in red, so two rounds of single crochet. And after two rounds of red I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off with this red. So this is where things are going to get a little bit more complicated because we're going to start to do the top of Spider-Man. So if you know, the top of Spider-Man is made with both red and blue colours. So we're going to be working with two colours at the same time and that's called tapestry crochet. We're also going to be increasing at the same time because obviously his body is going to get bigger as we go. So the stitches can seem a little bit confusing, but if you just follow the instructions carefully, and don't forget you can purchase the written instructions for this in my description box below, and that might help even more in figuring out this next part. So, Spider-Man's top starts to go up in a V. I will put a picture somewhere so you can see what I'm talking about. And we wanna make sure that that V is in the center of his chest, in the center of his, his top. So when we turn our work around, we are now going to introduce our blue yarn. And we want to make sure that this blue yarn is in the center stitch at the back, which will mean that when we get to the front, our work is all going to be in the center place. Hopefully, as you see this, as you see it unfold, it will make a little bit more sense. So I'm going to join my blue yarn and do my first single crochet. And with yarn tails as you go, you want to keep popping them into your work because it's going to get really confusing if you have a load of yarn tails hanging about. So for this next row, we're going to do nine single crochets in blue, two single crochets in red, and then we're going to finish with nine single crochets in blue. So I've done one single crochet in blue already, and I'm going to continue with eight. So that's stitch number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. And on the ninth stitch, we're gonna change our color to red. So we're gonna do this before every color change. So we're gonna use this method before every color change. 
So on the last stitch before the colour change, we're going to yarn over in the colour that we're currently using. So there are two loops on my hook in blue. Then I'm going to introduce the new colour, which is red. Pop the red onto my hook and pull through. So I've finished the ninth stitch of blue with my red yarn and now my red yarn is ready to be used for the next two stitches. With the yarn tail of red and with my blue working yarn I'm going to hold them in the back of my work and crochet them in as a go and this way we won't have to weave in any ends at the end and our blue yarn will be ready to continue within a moment. So now it's two row two stitches of red. So hold your tails in the back and crochet them in so one stitch in red and now on our second stitch we're going to switch back to blue so we're not going to complete the last we're not going to complete this stitch I've got two loops on my hook in red and I'm going to drop the red yarn and pick my blue yarn back up and I can complete that last stitch with the blue yarn and now I'm ready to continue with blue and I'm going to hold the red yarn in the back of the work again and weave the tails in as I go and now I can finish with nine single crochets in blue so one two and three so that's enough to weave in these red tails so I'm going to cut them and then finish off with blue so four five six seven eight and nine and at the end of that row I'm going to take the yarn tails and push them into my work and you can see we've got our first two stitches of red and these red stitches are going to increase to form the front of his top now with the red yarn I am going to be adding it and cutting it after all the stitches only because it's such a small amount of yarn I don't want to be carrying it around the work but with the blue because the blue is the primary colour I'm going to keep that attached at all times I'm not going to cut the blue off so we're now up to the next round and this is where things get really tricky because we're going to start doing some increases so we currently have 20 stitches and we're going to increase to 24 on this round so with our blue yarn, I'm going to single crochet three and then do two single crochets into the next stitch two times. So I'm going to single crochet three. One, two and three. And then increase in the next stitch for four and five. I'm going to single crochet three again for stitch number six, seven and eight. Increase in the next stitch for nine and ten and now I'm going to do one more single crochet in blue and then I'm going to change to red so I'm going to do the colour change during this during this stitch so I'm going to do half the stitch in blue bring back in the red yarn pop it onto my hook and finish that stitch with red holding the yarn tail and the blue in the back of the work I'm now going to do two stitches in red So just take your time, make sure you're putting your hook in the right place. So two stitches in red, one and two. And on the second stitch, we're gonna switch back to blue. So I'm gonna drop the red yarn, pick the blue yarn up, because remember we're carrying the blue yarn in the back of our work. And then finish that stitch in blue. So next, I'm going to do three single crochets and two single crochets in the next stitch and I'm going to do that twice again so single crochet one two and three I'm going to drop them red yarn tails at the moment now increase in the next stitch for stitch number four and five let's do that again single crochet one two and three do two single crochets in the next stitch one and two and finish this round with one more single crochet so at the end of that round again I can pull my loop up and let's sort out these yarn tails again so I'll cut the red yarn from earlier and pop them yarn tails into our work so we just want to make sure we're keeping our work as neat as we can 
because this can get extremely um, messy fast. For the next round, I'm going to do 10 single crochets in blue, four single crochets in red, and finish with 10 single crochets of blue. So, single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And on the 10th stitch, we're going to switch to red. So I'm not going to complete that 10th stitch and then I'm going to introduce my red yarn, hold the blue and the red tails in the back of our work and now do 4 stitches in red. 1, 2, Some of the stitches when you have changed work can be pretty tight so just have to persevere. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 three and four and on the fourth stitch we're going to change back to blue so I don't want to complete the stitch in red I'm going to swap back to blue hold the yarn tails in the back again finish that fourth stitch with blue and single crochet ten in blue one two three drop them tails four five six seven eight, nine and ten. So I'm just going to pull up a loop for a second so I can tidy my work up, cut the red yarn tails, stick, stick them into my work and you can see his shape is starting to take place. Now what you're going to notice, if you are right handed like me and I'm constantly crocheting and pulling the work to the right, when you're doing colour changes your work will start to gradually move to the right. If you're left handed the same thing would happen but on the left so you'd be constantly pulling to the left and your work would start to move or look like it's bending to the left. So I want to try and counterbalance that. Um, so along with the colour changes and the increases we now need to do a third thing that's going to make this look more central so it's going to stop it going off and up to the side. So th the way I do that is every third round I start that round with an extra single crochet. And that's just to move my start on position because by moving my start on position it means everything's going to be one stitch later and hopefully keep this looking more central. So I've done an extra single crochet at the beginning of the next round which is not counted as a stitch. And on the next round we're going to do another increase and we're going to increase from 24 stitches to 30. To do that in blue I'm going to single crochet three and do two single crochets into the next stitch twice. So single crochet three, one, two and three and then increase in the next stitch for four and five. Let's do that again, single crochet three, one, two and three and increase in the next stitch for four and five. And now we're going to single crochet, let's have a look, yeah we're going to single crochet two. So one and two and on the last stitch in blue we're going to switch to our red yarn. Even I get so confused doing this, I'm reading a pattern that I wrote a while ago whilst trying to hold this in a position that you can see and do all these techniques. Definitely not a beginner technique eh? So now we're ready to go in our red yarn and in the first stitch or the next stitch I'm going to do two single crochets in red. One and two. Remember to hold your tails and the working yarn in the back. Now I'm going to single crochet two stitches. One and two. And now I'm going to do two single crochets into the next stitch in red. One and two. And on the second single crochet I'm going to drop the red yarn pick up the blue and finish that last stitch in blue so now I'm ready to go with blue and I'm going to single crochet three stitches and do two single crochets into the next stitch two times so single crochet three one two and three increase in the next stitch for four and five let's do that again 
four and five. Now let's repeat that. Single crochet three, one, two, and three. Two single crochets into the next stitch, four, four, and four, five. And then we're gonna finish this round with two single crochets in blue. So we now have 30 single crochets. I'm gonna cut my red yarn again and pop them tails in. I just like doing that at the end of each round to make sure it's been kept neat. For the next round, I'm gonna do 12 single crochets in blue, then I'm gonna do six in red, and then I'm gonna finish with another 12 in blue. So let's begin. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12 and on that last stitch let's let's switch over to our red yarn now six single crochets in red one two three four five and six and on the last stitch turn back to blue and let's finish this round with 12 single crochets in blue so one two and three drop them yarn tails four five six seven eight nine 10, 11 and 12. Let's cut them red yarn tails and tuck them in. So the next round is our last increase round and we're going to increase from 30 stitches to 36. So beginning with blue, I'm going to single crochet into three and then do two single crochets into the next stitch twice. So single crochet three, one, two and three increase in the next stitch for four and five. Let's do that again, single crochet three, one, two and three, increase in the next stitch for four and five and then finish off with three single crochets in blue, one, two and three and on our last stitch I'm going to finish with red. Now with our red yarn, I'm going to single crochet two and then do two single crochets into the next stitch and I'm going to do that two times. So single crochet one and two, increase in the next stitch for three and four. Let's do that again, I also need some more yarn. So single crochet two, one and two, increase in the next stitch for three and four and then finish off with the red yarn with two single crochets so one and two and on that last stitch in red we're going to switch back to blue now with our blue yarn I'm going to single crochet three and do two single crochets in the next stitch twice so single crochet three one two and three increase in the next stitch for four and five. Let's do that again. Single crochet three, one, two and three. Increase in the next stitch for four and five. We're gonna finish this round with three single crochets. One, two and three. So now I can cut the red yarn and push it into our work. So for our next round, I'm going to begin with another single crochet because it's the third round since I last did that to help combat the moving seams. And for this round, I'm gonna single crochet 13 in blue, 10 in red, and 13 in blue. So let's begin. So in blue, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 
11, 12 and 13 and on that last stitch we're going to switch over to red. Now let's do 10 single crochets in red. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And on the last stitch in red, we're going to switch back to blue and finish this round with 13 single crochets in blue. So finish that stitch and then 13 single crochets. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So let's put that red yarn and push it into place. So for the next round, we're going to do twelve stitches in blue, twelve in red, and then twelve in blue again. So let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And on the twelfth stitch, we're going to bring in our red yarn and now do twelve stitches in red. One, Two, three, four, five. Oh, bring them tails back in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and the last stitch in red and 12. Swap back over to blue and then finish this round with 12 single crochets in blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and we're going to repeat that last round again so 12 stitches in blue 12 in red and 12 in blue so one one two three four five six seven eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve. And on the twelfth stitch we're going to change back to red. And now let's do twelve stitches in red. One, two, three, Four. Just sorting these tails out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. And on this last stitch in red, we're going to switch back to blue and do twelve stitches in blue. So one, and two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So for our next round, it's been three rows since I last did a correction for the moving seams. So I'm going to start with another single crochet to move the start and position of this round. And I'm going to single crochet 11 in blue, single crochet 14 in red, and then single crochet 11 again in blue. So 11 in blue, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And then complete this stitch with our red yarn. And we're now going to do fourteen single crochets in red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen and fourteen. And on the fourteenth stitch we're going to switch back to blue. I'm going to finish this round with 11 stitches in blue. So one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join and I'm going to fasten off with the blim. And I'm also going to cut the red yarn tails. So if you have got to this point, you deserve a drink. Because there was a lot going on there, we had colour changing, we had increased rounds, we were trying to combat moving seams. But if you got here, you've done it and well done because I struggled doing that there and I wrote the pattern. So at this point I'm just going to add some stuffing to the body. And now we're only going to continue with one colour which will be red. So I'm going to rejoin the red yarn in the back of my work And for the first round, I'm just going to single crochet around. So we should have 36 stitches and I've done one single crochet. So let's continue to single crochet around the 36 stitches. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19 and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 and 36. For the next round we're going to decrease from 36 stitches to 30. To do that I'm going to single crochet into 4 stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So let's single crochet for one, two, three, and four. 
and then decrease for five. Single crochet six, seven, eight, and nine. Decrease for ten. Single crochet eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Decrease for fifteen. Single crochet sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, decrease for 20, decrease again, single crochet 21, 22, 23, 24, decrease for 25, single crochet 26, 27, 28, 29, and decrease for 30. For our next row, we want to decrease from 30 stitches to 24. To do that, I'm going to single crochet into three stitches, and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So we're going to single crochet for one, two, and three. Decrease for four. Single crochet five, six, seven. Decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, ten, eleven. Decrease for twelve. Single crochet thirteen. 14, 15, decrease for 16, single crochet 17, 18 and 19, decrease for 20, and then single crochet 21, 22, 22 again, 23 and decrease for 24. For our next round we're going to in decrease from 24 stitches to 18. To do that I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet one and two, decrease for three. Do that decrease again decrease for three. Single crochet four, five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven, eight, decrease for nine. Single crochet ten, ten and eleven Decrease for 12, single crochet 13, 14, decrease for 15, single crochet 16, 17 and decrease for 18. So next, we're going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12. To do that, I'm going to single crochet in one, and then single crochet two together six times. Single crochet for one, decrease for two. Single crochet three, decrease for four. Single crochet five, decrease for six. Single crochet seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, decrease for ten. Single crochet eleven and decrease for twelve. Pull up a 
the loop and let's stuff his body so far. For our next round, we want to decrease to nine stitches. And to do that, I'm going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together three times. So single crochet one and two. Decrease for three. Single crochet four, five and five. Decrease for six. Single crochet seven and eight. Decrease for nine. And now I'm going to single crochet around these nine stitches for one row or one round. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. For the next round, we're going to increase from nine stitches to 18. To do that, I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch all the way around. So we're now onto his head. So two, stitch, two single crochets into every stitch. One and two into the first three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen, 17 and 18. For our next row we want to increase from 18 stitches to 24. To do that I'm going to single crochet two and then do two single crochets into the next stitch six times. So single crochet one and two. Increase in the next stitch for three and four. Single crochet five and six. Increase in the next stitch for seven and eight. Single crochet nine, ten. Increase for eleven and twelve. Number twelve again and twelve. Single crochet thirteen and fourteen. Increase in the next stitch for fifteen and sixteen. Single crochet. 17 and 18, increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, single crochet 21, 22 and increase the next stitch for 23 and 24. And now for our last round of increasing, we're going to increase from these 24 stitches to 30. And to do that, I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then do two single crochets into the following stitch six times. So single crochet for one, two, three, and in the next stitch, increase for four and five. Single crochet six, seven, and eight, increase in the next stitch for nine and ten. Single crochet eleven. 12, 13, increase in the next stitch for 14 and 15, single crochet 16, 17, 18, increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, single crochet 21, 22, 23, increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25, single crochet 26, 27, 28, and increase in the last stitch for 29 and 30. And now we're going to single crochet around these 30 stitches for six rows. So I'll meet you back here when I'm done. 
So I've finished my six rows and I've also run out of yarn. So I'm about to attach a new ball and for the next round we're going to decrease from 30 stitches to 24. So to do that I'm going to single crochet into three stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet for one, two and three, decrease for four. Single crochet five, six, seven, decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve. Single crochet thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen, decrease for sixteen. Single crochet seventeen. 18 and 19, decrease for 20, single crochet 21, 22, 23 and decrease for 24. So for the next round we want to decrease from 24 stitches to 18. To do that we're going to single crochet into two stitches and then single crochet two stitches together six times. So single crochet for one, and two, decrease for three, single crochet four, five, decrease for six, single, single crochet seven, eight, decrease for nine, single crochet ten, 11, decrease for 12, single crochet 13, 14, decrease for 15, single crochet 16, 17, decrease for 18. There we go, so I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to add a little bit more stuff onto his head. And now for the last decrease round, we're going to decrease from 18 stitches to 12. And to do that, I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then single crochet two stitches together six times. Single crochet one, Decrease for two. Single crochet three. Decrease for four. Single crochet five. Decrease for six. Single crochet seven. Seven. Decrease for eight. Single crochet nine, decrease for ten. Single crochet eleven and decrease for twelve. So now I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off even a bit of a long yarn tail so I can use this to sew this hole closed. But before I do that, I'm going to put a little bit more stuffing into his head. And when you're happy with that, I'm going to take this yarn tail, I'm going to pop it onto a embroidery needle, and I'm going to go around these remaining 12 stitches and pick up the front loops only. Make sure to pick them up in order. So the front loops only of these remaining stitches. And then pull tight to close and weave in your yarn tail. So this
this next part is optional but if you want to neaten up the edges of your work you can do that by hand sewing with the red yarn so I'm going to take the red yarn and I'm going to feed it in from somewhere different to a place where I want to neaten up the, di the two colour changes and I'm going to hand sew over the stitches to make that transition a bit more clear, a bit more easy to see. And I'm going to go down each segment where I want to neaten it up and do the same thing. Now let's make his logo for the chest. With black yarn, I'm going to slip knot onto hook and I'm going to chain two. One and two. Now into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets all into this second chain space. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first chain or the first stitch that we made to join and I'm going to fasten off and I'm going to leave a long tail and I'll use the tail to hand sew the spider's legs on. So if we bring Spider-Man back in, I'm going to take the start and tail, pop that onto my embroidery needle I'm going to poke that right through the centre of his chest. Now with the long yarn tail, I'm going to pop that onto my needle and I'm going to sew the outside of the spider into place. And next it's time to sew on his legs. Now for his eyes, if you choose to, you can make them out of felt like I did in my picture. But I'm going to show you how to make them out of cotton should you choose to. So I've switched out now for a 3mm hook and I'm going to slip knot onto my hook and I'm going to chain two. So one and two. Into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do five single crochets. So one, two, three, four and five. Then I'm going to chain one and turn my work. For our next row I'm going to increase these five stitches to ten and to do that I'm going to do two single crochets into every stitch. So one and two, three, and four, five and six, seven and eight, 
9 and 10. So I'm going to fasten off with the white and pull that yarn tail through. Now I'm going to bring in my black yarn, slip knot onto hook and into the stitch that we just fastened off from I'm going to reinsert there and I'm going to increase from these 10 stitches to 15 and to do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch five times. So I'm going to insert my hook and do my first single crochet and then increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet four, increase in the next stitch for five and six, single crochet seven, increase in the next stitch for eight and nine, single crochet ten, increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve, single crochet thirteen, increase in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen. Then I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to single crochet along the bottom of the eye. So there are no stitches here, but if you just do a couple of odd stitches and single crochet across the bottom, I don't know whether you can notice, but I've weaved in all the yarn tails as I went. And then slip stitch into the first stitch to join and fasten off but I'm going to leave a longer tail of the black because I will use that to sew it onto Spider-Man. So if we turn our work over, other than the long tail, I'm going to cut all the other ends off. And if we bring in our Spider-Man, you can see I've already pinned down one eye. I didn't want to sew it down until I'd positioned this one to make sure it was in the correct place. Always pin your work before sewing. And when you're happy with them, you can sew them into place. And now the last thing for us to do are his arms. So with red DK yarn, slip knot onto hook and let's chain two. So one and two. I'm back to using my 3.5 millimeter hook. Into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five and six. For our next row I want to increase to nine stitches. To do that I'm going to single crochet into one stitch and then do two single crochets into the following stitch three times. So single crochet for one, increase in the next stitch for two and three. Single crochet four, increase in the next stitch for five and six, five and six, single crochet seven, increase in the next stitch for eight and nine. And now I'm going to single crochet around these nine stitches for seven rows. So seven rows of single crochet. And after 
you've finished all your rounds of red, you want to fasten off with your red yarn and we're going to bring our blue yarn back in. We're going to attach our blue yarn and now we're going to do 12 rounds of single crochet in bloom. So 12 rounds in bloom. After your 12 rounds of bloom, we're going to slip stitch to join, leave enough yarn tail that we can sew the arm onto Spider-Man and now we get to stuff the arm. And once you're happy with it being stuffed, attach the yarn tail onto an embroidery needle the first thing we're going to do is sew the top of his arm closed and then if we bring Spider-Man back in, I've already done one of his arms, I'm going to sew his arm into place. And there you have the highly requested finished Superman. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, leave a thumbs up now. It's free and it really helps me out. If you do get a chance to make Spider-Man, don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag Teeny Crochets. And I'm running out of ideas of what to do next. So if you leave a note down in the description and let me know what you'd like to see in the next video. And other than that, remember to be nice in your everyday life have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.